Ho ho ho, welcome back to SJ Games Live, everybody. Uh, we got something different this week. Uh, we have Phil joining us from Warehouse 23, and he wanted to emphasize that shipping is a problem right now. <laughs> so yes. what we're doing, uh, while it is not Thanksgiving just yet, uh, we wanted to show you guys some stocking stuffer gifts that you could get right now. Uh, and uh, play a few of them just to give you an idea how some of them play and just kind of show you which just a few things can actually fit in the stocking some gift ideas because you should probably be ordering them now just to make sure they get there I know me personally I've got some packages on the way that are related to Christmas gifts and I, I was like need to get started with mine well I will say I ordered them uh, a couple weeks ago they were supposed to get here Saturday and they are now lost in the warp they are just gone uh, it says it's been delayed and it gives me no update and uh, so it's 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 kind of scary out there right now Make sure you get your stuff ordered, and uh, hope we can help you with some gift ideas. Uh, so I've got a couple stockings here, and i got a box in the middle. So uh, let's unpack a couple of these here. Uh, so just to give you an idea of how much can kind of fit in there, we've got some of our smaller games there. Uh, we've got Laboom. Uh, we'll use our side cam, too, as well, so you guys can kind of see that the side. Well, not the, yeah, there we go. Laboom, uh, this one uh, is a really fast dice game where essentially you're uh, playing uh, to not blow up. Uh, hot potato? Hot potato. It's kind of a hot potato game. Uh, it's a really good game to determine who goes first in another yes. game, actually. Yes. It's uh, very similar to that, and also great well compact way. size. Yeah. Uh, one of the ones we're actually going to play today, we got a couple of our smaller card games. Uh, Super Kitty Bug Slap. Uh, ignore the demo sticker. Yours won't come with that. <laughs> the, uh, Super Kitty Bug Slap is a fast dexterity game where you're trying to uh, play... When, when you play cards, we'll, you'll match them and uh, to something that you have. We'll, we'll play through it and kind of explain... Very good for kids. Uh, very fun, like pub game. I'd say. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a kids game, but it's really fun as an adult game too. Just yeah, to, you know. anti trick taking game. Anti trick taking. Yeah. yeah. And then we have uh, Munchkin Mighty Monsters. It's this is a I'm sorry that that one's this is yeah this is like the reverse trick taking game. So essentially, you have a uh, a suit that you're trying to follow in the game. Uh, suit or color? I think. Well, it's it's yeah. it's a number or color essentially, yeah. and you're trying to follow it with your hand until someone can't follow it, and then they have to take all the cards. And if you take those, it's a bad thing. The more you yep. get, the higher chance you lose the round. Because there's only one person that loses, everyone else wins. And so that's a really fun one. We've got a couple other things that are a little bit deeper here. These these are still these are a little bit larger, but still fit in the stocking, especially this one really well. This is a Fancy Trip Melee. Uh, so this is the uh, kind of introductory set to the Fancy Trip. There are two of these uh, that are about the same size, or exactly the same size, uh, Fancy Trip Melee and Fancy Trip Wizard. Yeah, they're kind of the core of the the fantasy trip uh, game mechanics as far as as combat yep. and magic and stuff. So yep. this is like this is the combat version. This, combat this, this this will get you through playing uh, combat campaigns, combat games. Uh, you can get that. Or Wizard, just arena fights. It's, just it's arena really fights, good. Yeah. It's a really good for just just going. You know, I'm going to take uh, you know a couple of swashbucklers and an archer over here, and the others. Are, well, I'm going to take my Roman legion yeah. at you guys, and we'll see who wins. Yeah, you can yep. you can fight fight against other people. You can do PvP. There are monsters included if you want to fight stuff like that. Yep. Uh, Wizard adds magic, of course, to that mix. Uh, there's also an, in that same box size. So if you're talking about like this kind of perfect stocking size, uh, Death Test is in that box as well. We played yeah. through that. There's actually a video of it on YouTube if you want to check that out. Uh, some previous live streams. Where oh we yeah, through we Death played Test. through that. It's it's a couple, couple we played it a couple of different times, and we uh, got beaten both, I believe. And uh, yeah, it yeah. was it's 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 pretty tough, but it's a lot of content for like such a small spiders. box. Yeah, it's great. I unlocked spiders multiple times. Uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of content, smaller box. There's a, We have a few games in the smaller box. I actually don't know, if, now that Philip's here, uh, uh, what do we have available in those kind of boxes? I know we've had some in the past. And blo um, uh, there's also Blah Blobber is pretty small. It's, it's, a little, it's, a it's one of our Munchkin map. expansion boxes. Um, then we have Gelatinous. Um, yeah, that's a little bit is, bigger, but you yeah. can actually open it up and put it all yeah, in the dice Yeah, it's bag. in a bag. Um, the original zombie dice is pretty small. It can yep. fit in a stocking. Yep. It's a whole can, yeah. Um, can. There's, uh, there's a couple other things that are not necessarily games. The Zodiac dice is pretty oh, small. Yeah, yeah tons there. of our dice tons expansions. Dice. Zodiac uh, dice, really, I really like, we've used that one a few um, times on our past streams to just generate characters, like backgrounds for characters. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a lot of fun. Uh, one thing to point out, we didn't, I didn't bring them because they're not full games, but essentially you can play, uh, you can you can stocking stuff any amount of much can expansion. Right, right. Yeah. These are actually, these same boxes are the sizes of our smaller expansions, and the larger ones are uh, uh, are still fitting in just fine. Uh, yes, and we also have, if you don't know what to get, we have gift certificates. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's something to point out. The gift yep. certificates. Yep. 
gets tribute. And, uh, and any number of dice also fit in a stocking. Right. Like a lot of dice fit in a yes. stocking. So you, uh, one other size of game I wanted to point out is this. We kind of went by size. We have the smaller games, like the medium games. And these are, I'd say, the larger end of what fits in a stocking. Because full Munchkin games don't necessarily fit. But this is a little bit thinner than a Munchkin box. Uh, and these do fit. And these are kind of small stockings. I believe these are like Dollar Tree stockings. These are like dollar stockings. Uh, and these fit just fine. They're a little snug, but on a, yeah. like a regular size stocking, probably fine. Um, these are our newer releases in this like size box, Hack and Slash, which we will be playing in just a moment to show you guys how to play. Uh, Hack and Slash is kind of a almost it's like a push your luck game. You're essentially yeah. bidding your party members. You get little meeples that represent your par your party members. Uh, you bid them out onto a uh, different mission, and then you roll dice to make see if you complete the mission. And then if you don't, you can kind of push your luck and put more party members in to try to complete it. Save, save the rest of your team to that save went the out rest there. Of your yeah. team. And if you don't, you'll lose them all. Uh, so it's a fun little like fantasy-themed quick uh, game. It's a lot of fun. One of my favorites. Uh, Scarf and Barf is also a new one. These both kind of came out in the last year, year and a half. And uh, that one is about going to a theme park. And you were, it's another dice game, but it works a little bit differently. Right. Uh, you're trying to uh, hit target... Uh, hit, it, hit targets on different rides essentially and if you if you get them you're you get the card essentially and score points for it and try not to barf and try not to barf yes um i believe deadly doodles I deadly doodles also would fit in there yeah. it's, it's the same it's the same box as deadly doodles 2 the expansion it's a little bit thicker it's, it's more of a munchkin sized box because yeah. it has more maps in it but yeah deadly doodles will fit just fine if you want to see gameplay of that you can actually check yeah. we actually have scarf and barf on here as well Deadly Doodles, we have gameplay of that as well. You could totally put Deadly Doodles in the stocking and then wrap Deadly Doodles 2 under the tree. Also That's true. true. Also true. Uh, if we can go to the forward shot, uh, Brandon, I wanted to show this a little bit. Uh, this isn't exactly a stocking stuff, but I did really want to mention it before we got playing into some games here. Uh, the Munchkin Gift Pack. Uh, so the Munchkin Gift Pack, I guess we can do the side shot too. I just didn't know if it actually fit here. Let's see. Oh yeah, it'll fit. It'll fit. Uh, so the Munchkin gift pack, this is not a stocking stuffer, uh, but I did want to bring it up because it's a very holiday themed item that we have. Probably one of the coolest Christmas items that we've ever done to me. Um, and it is probably, I'm not going to say it's never going to be a reprint because we never say never. However, uh, this is, it's going to be a while till this probably gets another reprint down the road because it has very, very specific things in it. Yes. Uh, like we have, we, to make this, you can see on the back here. Uh, to make it, we have to make wrapping paper, and these there are three individually wrapped Munchkin games, and these are some of the harder to find Munchkin games. So it includes Munchkin Spell School, Munchkin Grim Tidings, and Munchkin Light, which is Munchkin Light is kind of like the base set with some new art from John Kavalik, and, and it cuts a few cards that are a little tougher to uh, learn and rules wise. Uh, Grim Tidings in particular is extremely difficult to find. It, that was yeah. an exclusive game with it, Walgreens for Walgreens a while, and then this was and this is really one of the only ways to get it outside of that. Um, that's a, a fairy tale themed mm -hmm. one based around Grimm's fairy tales. Uh, that was one of my favorite ones to help work on. On that, this is a lot of fun, and you can see it actually maps it out which ones wrapped. So you can actually open this box; they're individually wrapped. Yep. Uh, let me see. This is our uh, uh, did production have a copy. On Twitch is why yes. do we put uh, in the Christmas pack? Why do we put Munchkin Light instead of Munchkin Christmas Light? I think the answer is we hadn't made Munchkin Christmas Light yet. No, actually, no, Munchkin we, we, Christmas Light did exist. It's a different box size. It's a. Um, Expansion box size. Yeah, that, uh, okay. so Munchkin Christmas Light's a smaller set uh, that has a different box size. Also, oh, I don't think this one's actually... No, it should be. Um, uh, oh, it's taped down on the side. I won't, I won't pop it open. Uh, but they're all individually wrapped on there. Uh, and Christmas Light's also not one that's in print currently. Uh, just so sure. you know, if you are a fan of that set uh, and you see it, pick up a copy because... Yep. Christmas light is no longer at the moment being. Yeah, it's produced. the same size as like Munchkin Two or Munchkin Three. So it's yes. an expansion size box, but it's a full game. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, this one includes the the larger sized boxes, uh, and then you've got some actually got some, I believe some promos in there too. So yeah, it, it has, has, it has uh, holiday promos and it also has gift a gift tag kind of thing. Gift yeah, card. gift cards or gift tags. And yeah. um, one of the coolest monsters I think is the Santa Thulu. Yeah. The, the Great Claus Thulu. Great Claus Thulu. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. I actually have these promos specifically because I have that mad. Yes. We got to play that, by the way, again oh, this year. Yes, my yeah. Munchkin Christmas set. Yeah, we got to break sure that out closer, closer to the uh, holiday. So yeah, we uh, this I wanted to point out because we are down to not a lot of stock of this. We are try, uh, you know, we, we open it up around the around September. We always open the holiday vault, so this is only around in a particular time of year. Yes, uh, we we want to keep it pretty special, and. Um, 
uh, it's usually around t till about January. Then we close down the holiday vault, and then uh, yeah, it's you got to wait another year or so. And if it's still around, so it, it's we're lower lower on stock on this. Plus, you know, it's only around right now. So uh, if you want it, grab a copy of this. It's really cool, great for gift giving. If you just like if you just like Munchkin, it's great. Just take it all for yourself. But um, really cool ability to give you multiple games to give as gifts, plus some unique promos that you keep for yourself. So yeah. if you don't need the games, just <laughs> keep the promos. Uh, so let's play some games, guys. I'm. I'm uh, I, we've talked a lot about all these. Uh, we uh, someone games. in chat said they got to try Hack and Slash at virtually at Fnorcon. Uh, oh yeah, and really enjoyed it. Awesome, that's perfect. That's exactly what Fnorcon's for. All right, we can more last. Perfect. Yeah, it's, is it two weekends ago? It was two weekends ago. Yeah, already. It feels. It's yeah, already it feels, been, it's already been some time. So let's let's play a few of these. Let's play Munchkin Mighty Monsters first. I do okay. want to show you guys how some of this stuff plays. A few of these already have videos on the on the site if you want to get some more gameplay. But we're gonna play some short games and hang out. It's it's you know the holiday time. I don't get everyone around all the time. We are we are gonna have another stream tomorrow. I want to point out uh, Douglas Cole's coming on. He's launching a Kickstarter for his uh, world of uh, for that's compatible with. Uh, Dungeon Fantasy. Oh, his, uh, is that the Nordland? Yeah, world? Nord his Nordland world. Nice. Uh, I don't remember the book name offhand, but I'm going to be interviewing him about that, so that'll be tomorrow's stream. Next week, we're off for Thanksgiving, though, so, you know, wanted to get you guys some holiday streaming. We do have a really fun item dropping on Black Friday. I wanted to tease it, so I, I can't tell you a lot of details about it just yet, but it'll be uh, it'll be up then. Or, we couldn't use it right now, though. Yeah, no, we could not use it right now. Thank you, Santa Hats. Uh, is this the one we had opened? No. This one's not open. We we let's said open it. yeah, we'll save the wrong one. Can you open this for us? We'll, let's let's start with a super kitty bug slap then. Right. This one's a uh, easy this. enough. So super kitty bug slap is one of my favorite. I believe actually what uh, the uh, the stay at home mom uh, stocking stuffer guide just came out. Their gift giving guide. We we made that list. Oh cool. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be sharing that a little bit later. This box is a little beat up. And this is our this is our demo copy. Yeah. And this game, you're gonna understand why it's beat up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so we each get a different cat. So let's do the side shot here. Uh, so this is my cat, the uh, purple. It, so there's a couple things you're going to be looking at on the card on the card itself. So there's a shape to the cat. It's either circle or square. There's a color to the cat, either purple or orange. And there's a bug on its head. It's either going to be a ladybug or it's going to be like the blue fly. Uh, what's going to happen is when we lay down cards, uh, I'm going to be throwing down cards as the dealer. And we're going to try to slap a card that matches a, a part of this. So, uh, well, this one's a bad example because it's got two. That's kind of a wild card. Uh, so, like, say I slap this one down on the table. Uh, I don't have an... It's orange and a triangle and doesn't have a bug. So, I am not orange. I am not a triangle. So, I couldn't slap that. But I could slap it, but it would be worth negative points for yes. me. Uh, Philip here, he's orange. So, it matches one of the aspects of his card. He can slap it. Uh, this one comes out. It's square. Uh, and it's a orange cat. Again, not something I can match, but it matches both Jimmy and Philip's card. They can slap it. Um, sometimes you'll get cards that match your shape, uh, your bug. Maybe if it just has a blue bug on it or a red bug on it, you can slap it. As long as it matches either circle, either your the shape of your card, the, uh, color. Uh, the color of the card, or the bug on the card, you can do it. Uh, let's slide this out of the way because I think we'll probably use the side shot for the the gameplay on this one. It's a little bit hard right. to see uh, card Let's games. Put from... this down here. That's fine. Yeah. Just gonna shuffle these up. Um, we're gonna play a little differently because I think you're supposed to play with up to four players and one person. One person deals, dealers. but we're gonna play. Yeah. We're only playing like a round or two, so I don't want. Yeah. It's it's fine. Uh, yeah. Me being a dealer doesn't give me an advantage because I I'm, I'm slow to react anyway. I'm gonna be thinking about dealing. Always deal out instead yeah. of over. Yes. Sure, I'm not going to be paying attention. <laughs> Guys, you're, you're giving me way too much credit. <laughs> it's He's like, not, oh yeah, it's like, ugh, here we go. So, look at your cards. Uh, make sure you got it in your mind. So, I'm red, purple, circle. Okay. Uh, so, here we go. Okay, well, that was... I swear to, I swear, I shuffled, guys. Jimmy. I need to get this arm ready. I can't see the glare. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm, nope. Oh, yeah. Ooh. oh man! Oh, I thought. You think I have another bug? Did you get it first? You get one with your hand. <laughs> so that's the trick card. That's one of the trap cards yeah. in the game. Uh, there is no triangle cat. There's, no there's uh, on the player cards. on the player cards. There's yeah. nothing to match that to. There's, so triangles, there's no green. So yeah. if you slap it, it's worth negative points. It's just worth negative points for you. 
Oops. Ah, I think that was yours. That was Jimmy. Mm, got the bug. the bug. I'm not. Ah, that's a wild, that's a wild card. That, that's a wild card. That one is absolutely everybody. Every, yeah, everything it, it works for everything. So there's a couple trap ones, a couple wild cards. Oh, a couple wild cards. <laughs> I, well, I didn't slap that. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay. Hey. Nope. Mm, that bug. Out of the bug. I was like, what? That's yep. square. The other trap card. Won't give you time to try it. You got it first. I was on top of your hand. Yeah. Just because my grip is stronger, I'm not going to... Okay. Win. Okay, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> like, <"Whoa>, <laughs> well. uh, I think that was Philip. Yeah. That was Philip. Mm, yep. Yeah, now you can understand why these cards get messed up over time. I think you got that. Okay, I'll, I will go through your, your wise judgment, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that was close. I'm going to go with Jimmy on that one. He's got more of it. He's got more of it. Yeah, he went fingers. <laughs> Circle. Mm, could have been mine. That, that also could have been mine. That couldn't have been mine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Bug. Mm. E. Yeah, that was you. That was you. <laughs> Bug, you could have got that. I know. Uh, you got you got two things on it that were right. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I so one of my favorite memories was demoing this at uh, Gamma the year it came out, and uh, we were making so much noise slapping the table that another publisher came over to us and was like, "Hey, could y'all uh, <laughs> shut up?" <laughs> like our their table was really boring, and our table it wasn't just that we we're slapping the tables; it's that everyone was like wow. screaming yeah. at each other. I, we were keeping it reserved here, but. When you have like a table of full five, so you can play, like Philip was saying, usually one person deals and then everyone else is slapping. So you usually have one person just, and, and when they can, they deal, they can theoretically go as fast or, or as slow, slow as they want. For me right there, it's giving this, me a chance to look at it and everyone a yeah, chance. When you're, when you're, just, you're like, card, card, yeah, card. Especially when you're playing with adults. With kids, obviously, it's great because you're matching shapes, colors, stuff yeah. like that. It's, it's kind of like a matching game. With adults, it's kind of like... Speed, go. Hope yeah. hope you don't screw up. As soon as that card clears, you throw so the next one out. So it was so much. Go, 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 it go, was go. just so much fun, and it was so much fun that we were having too much fun for this other publisher. Uh, and then the Gamma, uh, the the convention made us put down uh, towels where you would slap <laughs> to make it softer. It was still loud, and they were... yeah, because at at conventions when we demo it, we have we have our dice table or demo table well, our, like, this was just some regular tables yeah. it was still loud but it's like everyone's standing up so kind of, everyone's kind of circle around and just like i guess i should i should put the into context this was actually at the speed gaming event where you had like 10 minutes to play and it was just like uh, what yeah, yeah. everyone's like trying to get in 10 a 10 minute demo and we we're just like go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> just sliding like, the table like play a game next to a table playing happy yeah. salmon exactly <laughs> yeah. so yeah well happy salmon awesome game by the way that's a great that's a great stocking stuff that we don't make if yeah. you get a chance fit it in there with some of our games uh so now what you do is you just count up they've already been doing it uh if you messed up on any cards you just set those aside those are worth negative points uh but negative two right i believe they're negative two yeah. yeah and then the rest of them are just positive i don't think i missed any though because we were going kind of yeah. you know, low four six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen i got thirteen fifteen mm. eighteen yeah ah, there it is thought. Yep. Thought. and that's how you play that's literally super key bug stop usually what you do is you'll play a few rounds again alternating the dealer when you have three people or less i'd say probably just one person should be the dealer so it's got more you know interaction yeah, uh, yeah. with the slaps <clears throat> however um when you're playing like you know five people yeah perfect to have one dealer and here's the other yeah there's four different types of cards yeah then there's four yep so let us jump over let's do mighty monsters all right it is right here. Another card game. I love these card game size games. Uh, so 
Some did mention Munchkin Christmas Light. I did mention before the, the, that a Munchkin Christmas Light is the same size as Munchkin Expansions, like the larger Munchkin Expansions. Uh, so if you want to throw some of those in your game, unfortunately, we don't have any other like Munchkin Christmas Light sized full games, but they're great expansions out yeah, there. Yeah, good to make sense. So what we have is a deck of cards. Uh, this one's brand new, so it hasn't actually been uh, shuffled up. We'll shuffle it up here in a second. But if you go to the side cam, Brandon, I'm going to show some stuff here. So in this deck, there are different suits, and these suits have uh, colors and numbers. So like this suit is the is a gray. It's got the spike suit. It uh, starts at three and goes to twelve. And it's gray. Uh, we got the flower suit. It goes three to ten, and it's in yellow. Uh, and it goes like that. It, this one's three to eight. So as you can see, they go through different different sets of numbers. The gray suit's a little bit bigger. The yellow suit's a little bit smaller. Right. Red goes a little bit smaller than that. This one is one to six in green, and then you've got one to four in blue, and then you've got only one and two in the brown, the cleric brown. And what you're doing is you're trying to mess up other people to where they can't take a set of cards. So when I play a card, so if someone leads a suit, they could lead with a, a the 12, the gray 12 if they wanted to, and the next person would either have to match gray or the number. So as we know, since we're all aware now of what's in the deck, we know there's only one 12 in the deck, so there's if unless they have a gray card, they can't match it. Right. But of course, there's a lot of gray cards, so that could be one that they can match. Uh, on the opposite side of that spectrum, you start with a brown one. There are a couple ones in the deck, but not many. And there's only two brown cards in the entire deck, so it's a tough one to match. What happens if you can't uh, follow a card? You'll take that entire stack and play it face down, and essentially that becomes a... That's a... Uh, I believe I can't remember what it's called in this game. Uh, before it was called a mess when it was in the previous version, but it's it's a uh, it's bad essentially. Is what I'm it, trying to say it's a set that you've taken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the end of a round, once you've gone through all the cards in everyone's hands, whoever has the most it's bad stuff. Bad it's stuff. That bad. makes sense. Yep. So whoever has the most bad stuff gets a defeat card. They've been defeated. First person to three defeat cards loses the game. Everyone else wins. We all get yep. out of the dungeon. So, uh, you know thematic towards Munchkin. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite little mechanisms. Very fun little game. Uh, this one, uh, another one, uh, both this and Super Kitty, I bring up a decent amount because uh, they both scale really well for kids and adults. Uh, for kids, they're getting something almost different out of it because with uh, Super Kitty and uh, these, it's like kind of a color matching uh, or in or shape matching right. or in this case, number matching. Kind of, it's not not fully educational, but it, it's it reinforces some cool stuff for kids. Yeah. For adults, it's going to be a really mean little anti trick yeah. taking game. Like it gets, so those it gets two, pretty savage. Super Kitty and Munchkin Mighty Monsters. We often get schools and libraries to ask for donations, and those two are like the first things we grab because it's great. It's, it's great, it's great for, for age for any age. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I like the adult version where I'm getting uh, to screw over everyone at the table. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, be honest. It, it's really the the asymmetrical sets that makes it. Uh, yes, uh, it makes you have to think about it. If, yeah, if it was if it was all just one through twelve, you wouldn't have a game really. It would just right. be kind of like it's just like a deck of cards. Yeah, it would just be it would just be like matching stuff. But since they're asymmetrical, you, and you can have information It'd be like about reverse that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But since they're asymmetrical, you can get a good little mix of like, oh, we got we know that there's less of the brown suit and more of this suit, and you can kind right, of like, so like all right, I'm gonna hold that twelve yeah. until I see most of that brown run out, and then drop it in front of Philip. And you just deal out the deck. Or Hunter. And then, it's, oh, wait, no, we start with one of the cards face up, right? Uh, the two it's, Oh, it's whoever, the, no, we deal out the deck, and then whoever has the that whoever card. Whoever has that card, it, yeah. yeah. I thought it was, like, flip over the last um, card. Is there any questions or comments? Yeah, and if anyone has any questions, please let us know. Or any, if you have, you know what? If you have any, uh, need any recommendations, uh, we've got some here. I mean, we do have the warehouse manager here. He's got it. He knows what our stock is. He knows oh, what's happening. Looking for the three, the spike three. So That's the gray great. three starts it. Boom. Okay, so you start the suit. I am going to follow that with, uh, we're going to follow it with a seven of gray. We'll try to get it to where we can see it on the camera. Seven of gray. Sounds like a. <laughs> the seven of gray. Org slash Game of Thrones crossover. <laughs> Philip, stop cheating. <laughs> Philip was cheating on me. Chat says we should reprint Nightmare Chess. We are reprinting we Nightmare are. Chess. We announced that at yep. It won't be out before Christmas, so I didn't bring it out for a stocking yeah. stuffer, but we did renounce that at Fedorcon. We are reprinting Nightmare It's actually going to be Nightmare Chess 1 and 2 in one thing. In a combined set? Yeah, combined set, yeah. So it's a... 7. It's a 7. 7 of, of Spike to me. 
trying to see if there's a spot where it actually seven of the spike. You can probably get a little closer on that since you're going to be playing in a very short space. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and drop in the eight of spike there. Ooh, I will go with a five of the spike. Five of spike. Oh, I got to stay in spike, it looks like. So we're going to go with the that's four of spike. what I like to call a spike five. Spike five. Uh, spike four, huh? Yep. Yeah. Sounds like we're calling... Wizard four. Calling, oh, uh, change. so you match number, not color. Yeah, so. it sounds like we're calling football plays spike four. Spike four? Um. So I need a wizard or a... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go wizard. Wizard five. Yep. Well, that looks nice. Uh, I don't love it. Uh, we're going to go wizard six. Ooh. Suckers. We're back to spike six. Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, we'll go with elf six. I thought we'll go with flower getting in there six. What? This is gonna be bad. Okay. So sometimes this will happen where like one one trick will happen go really well, big. Right. The first one's always big, and then they get they get short real quick. Yeah. Um, is that an eight? Yeah, that's eight. an eight. 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 Um, Flowers. Flower eight. Eight. Yeah, I'm really excited about Nightmare Chess. Actually, we've that's one of our one of our higher requested ones. Uh, yes. I'm gonna, so that's a flower nine. I'm gonna do spike nine. We're back to spike folks. Spike nine. I know we're, we have to be lower on spike cards at this point. There's only three to twelve. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that bad <laughs> stuff is fine. I think there's only one or two left. I ran yeah, out of Spike. So, so you get the first bad stuff. But I that do. means you also get to lead the next trick. And when he leads, uh, he can play any card from his hand. Yep. Yep. So I think we will go back to Flower 5. Okay. okay. Is that a 5? Yeah. Flower 5. Flower 3. Five. Flower three. Uh, you know what? Wizard 3. Ooh. Wizard three. Okay. Dwarf three. Uh oh, uh oh. Dwarf two. Mm. Let's do elf two. Ooh. Let's do elf four. Ah, crap. We'll do uh, elf five. Hunter. I'll take an elf uh, five. There you go. Uh, oh man. Well, Jimmy. What happened there? Oh well, it uh, fortunately, Jimmy. Spike 11. Spike 11. <laughs> Would you like that? <laughs> no, but I'll take it anyway. So again, folks, being an adult, I know that he didn't have a spike card to match for sure because he couldn't match it before, and there's no other 11 in the deck. So. Right, right. So, you know. So we'll go with Elf 3. Oh, come on, man. Go with Elf 1. Uh, okay. Oh. Jimmy? I oh, like the Spike play, 12. <laughs> 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 You do it to me, I'm doing it to you. Uh, yeah, you are. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. I, you know. <laughs> Philip's just like, I win. Dwarf one, Philip. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, he's enjoying <laughs> there it. There we go. There we go. Couldn't, couldn't have you go away empty handed. Spike 10. <sighs> you fall my ammo. Yeah. Let's do uh, flower four. Flower four. Oh, I got a flower 10. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. So Philip's got two, I've got three. Hey, flower seven. Oh, this round's not going well for me. Wizard eight. So Philip's got three. I've got three. Jimmy's got four. Got four. Clear two. I've got four. I'm out too. So dwarf four. <laughs> That's it. So Jimmy has five. I've got four. Philip's got three. So Jimmy. I get the defeat card for that you, round. You've been defeated. Yeah. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, he got the most bad. Oh, this is awesome. I love this game. <laughs> it's so goofy. Uh, yeah, let, I guess speaking of uh, Nightmare Chess, we should. Is there any other reprints coming out? I think there might be a couple that we, uh, we just uh, put up live today. It was on pre order. Oh, Rock. yeah, that's Jay a, Kazulu, that's, uh, that's a good that's actually a sucking stuff for size. Oh, no, it's actually Munchkin box. Size. Yeah, I think it's full Munchkin box size, now. but still, no, no, it's it's a um, it's that size. Oh, it's cool, size? sweet. Okay. It's it's dense, it is a lot of game, it's and that's it's a little more expensive than those yeah. games. I think it's it's more of a Munchkin price, but it yep. is that box size box because. Yep. It has more cards in it. But yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, Shake Cthulhu, that was another one that got requested a decent amount. Uh, I don't think Nightmare Chess is going to be out before the holidays, but oh, Shake no, Cthulhu is not. in stock now. Yeah, so. it just we, we just uh, put it up live. Someone asked about something else we announced during ForkCon. Will the reprint of Conspiracy Theory have the same cards as the original release? I think it's just a straight reprint. I believe reprint. it's just, it's it's just, just a reprint, reprint. yeah. Um, nothing, nothing new on that one. 
that one, and then we did. We said Triplanetary as Triplanetary well. Triplanetary is going to reprint nothing, nothing new as far as I'm yeah. any of that stuff. Usually uh, when we reprint, it's it's just straight reprint. Sometimes yeah. it'll fix like certain things about the game if there's like typos or something like that, but nothing like. So Walker and I asked, wait, was it the number of bad stuff cards or just the number of bad stuff piles you took? It's the number piles. of bad stuff piles. And it doesn't matter piles. how many cards are in each one, it's how many piles you took. Yeah. It's trick exactly. you take. It yeah, you're going. Call, you can call it trick taking. It's not really exactly trick taking because yeah. you're not trying to you're yeah. not trying to it's, win the It's the number of sets you win. Yes, yeah, sets yeah. is sets is a good way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, whoever is the most sets at the end so, of the round gets the... It doesn't matter if that set is 15 cards or one card. It's worth the yeah, set. Yeah, you, which is why those those two that I got on you were pretty important. Yeah. They were just as important as the gigantic one that you got. Uh, so the gray three. Um, uh, other reprints that we just did recently was, um, in the last few months, I should say, Munchkin Booty and yes. Munchkin Bites. Yes, Munchkin Bites is, has been, and Munchkin Bites had been out of print for a while. Right. Uh, if you if you missed out on that one, that one is uh, one of our oldest ones that hadn't had a reprint yet. So that's really cool, actually. Okay, right, okay. Cool. That is to you. I don't like this hand. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter you uh, are you sure you um, shuffled this? Ah, that's crazy. I got a perfect hand. No, I'm sure. <laughs> um, this is very bad. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry it's about uh, it. it's not. It's, it's not great. It's eight. not great. Jimmy. Spike eight. All right, let's go with a uh, spike ten. Mm, let's oh boy. go Do with a uh, take this. Are you serious? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. That's, that's not good news for you, Philip. Uh, I know. You should uh, see. You should see my well. Hand. Yep. You know why? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What'd you get, Hunter? <laughs> well, <laughs> not any <laughs> wizard cards. Spike nine. Spike nine. All right, let's go with a spike four. Let's go with a uh, wizard four. Let's go with a flower four. All right, let's go with flower eight. Let's go with a flower nine. Let's go with a flower five. Let's go with a flower six. Oh no, flower's getting used up real fast. Let's go with a wizard six. Uh, we're gonna go back to spike for six. On oh, Let's go with a spike twelve. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was obnoxious. <laughs> Let's go with the spike twelve. What a jerk. Oh man. Oh, a wizard. Shocker. But we have a spike five for that. Ah, uh, I didn't know which one you had. <laughs> You have well, all the spikes. That one's you have going all the spikes. No, no. Well, not anymore. I had a few. Let's go for a flower seven. Oh, no. Oh, man. I had, I think, every wizard card. Uh, well, well, spike 11? <laughs> okay, okay. You had every spike. Flower 10. Dang it. Oh, so Philip's at three, I'm at two, Jimmy's at two. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. What are you at three? Elf six. Elf four. Elf five. Elf one. Elf two. Cleric two. Dwarf two. Welcome back. <laughs> Killing me. Killing me. So Jimmy's at three. I'm at three. Philip's at three. Oh, we're tied. Elf three. That's brutal. Dwarf one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. So that's a four for you? That's... Oh, that's four oh, for me. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Where was it? Did you take the, the three? He did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's four for all of us. We each get a defeat card. Yep. So we all tied. Uh, there was no bottom. Man, if I had just been able to play, I had the cleric one. Yeah. Uh, since there was no there was no winner on that one, uh, all losers get it. So technically, we all lost, and we all won. So yep. we all get a defeat card. Uh, so Jimmy is one away from one. losing yep. the game. Three defeat cards will, will be the end of it. Yep. And uh, we are on the track for it. That was a painful round. That is that was rough. Yeah, Andrew. Uh, basically, we're, we're it's a real simple game. We're basically uh, try to you try to follow the number or color card. of the set that is played. If you of can't, the card that is played. If you can't, you take that set. Uh, whoever has the most sets at the end of the round uh, loses and gets a defeat card, and then you reshuffle and play it again. Mm -hmm. And the first person to three defeats cards loses. Yep. That's the quick summary. Everyone else wins. Uh, this is. Up to four players. Yep, this goes up, up to four players. Yeah. And it has the old school John Kavala card from the original. 
Yeah, that's right, actually. I forgot about that. So it has this, the flower and the spike, uh, and then the classes, which I can't think off the top of my head. Wizard, elf, uh, cl dwarf cleric. cleric. Dwarf cleric. Ah, no. It's going to be the last round if Jimmy. Uh, I hope it's not the last round. I hope it's not the last round. I don't want it to be the last round. Uh, I mean, you don't. I start with the spike of three. Right, the three of spike of the cards here. Oh, man. He is just hanging on by a string, guys. Philip having all the cleric cards really screwed me up last round. That was rough. We, we were stacked heavily in no, our No, I had own, all uh, the wizard, or the wizard sets. Wizard yeah, cards. yeah. Yeah, we were, we were, I only had three sets in my hand. Hey, sometimes it happens. So it was, it sometimes was stacked heavily. Considering that I still lost that round, too, it didn't help any of us. This is true. All right, uh, so that is spike three to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go with a uh, seven. Okay. Phillip's like, I Phillip. take that immediately. <laughs> no, not yet. Eight. Okay, we're going to go to flower eight. We're going to go and mix it up now. Okay. Well, if we're mixing it up, let's go wizard eight. I didn't mean mix it up that far, Jimmy. You've gone too far. Uh, let's go back to flower. Flower five. <laughs> I didn't flower like five. that wizard. Let's go back to spike five. <laughs> it's a spike. Let's do spike six. Let's go with spike twelve. Okay, he's just saying, get it out of here. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess if we're getting those. This is spike four. Spike four. Let's go with L four. Oh no, this hand is gonna be bad for after someone <laughs> really soon. Okay, uh, four. we'll do dwarf four. Go with the uh, dwarf oh, two. Oh my god, <laughs> why? Dwarf one. Elf one. Elf one. Oh no! Elf six. <laughs> Not like this! <laughs> Wizard uh, six. six. Wizard six. Wizard seven. Oh god! Wizard four. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we man. go. That was like two thirds of the. <laughs> That's like a deck of cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Spike ten. Yeah, that's what I thought, Jimmy. Dang. Wizard three. Uh -huh. Flower seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jimmy coming no, back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dwarf three. Oh. Don't there get the first. I get my second. <laughs> uh, elf five. Elf three. Elf two. Mm, no, what did I miss? <laughs> cleric one. Cleric two. No, I knew you had that two cleric. So both both gets second, but that means I have three. So I get my get second the, defeat card. Now we oh, now on. it's a game. Now it's now it's uh, Phillips <sighs> to lose. I had you, but you didn't. I had Jimmy with that one. Yeah, we're playing this one fast. It's it's a it's a quick play game. So you just you, do you have it or not? You you go on. So it's a yeah, good, it's not a it's good, not, good filler the, time killer. The thought kind of comes in where what what you lead with, and the the question is, do I want to change color? Like yeah. usually the, the thought is. Do I want to keep in the same suit? Because you usually have an option. Do you want to stay in the same suit? Yeah. Or do you want to switch colors up? And it depends on what's in your hand. Like that time around, like I had several spikes, but that spike 12, I know there's no other 12. I should, so I should I wait till the spikes go for a little bit. Exactly. And then throw that out, hoping that, and that no, there's no, he doesn't have any spikes and he can't match a 12 in anything else. So, so for example, I, I, I guess this is something that doesn't show up in video as much because some people see it and they're just like, oh, you're just matching colors and numbers. There's no thought that goes into it. Like when that was going around, there was that moment where you, you had played an 11, you had both played an 11 and a 12 of, of spike on that one. And I had the option to play either my 10 or a four. And it's, and I chose to do the four at that point and keep the 10 because at that point I knew you'd both played your really high spike cards and there was very little chance that y'all are going to have a 10 to match the, in anything the spike. Else. So I yeah, kept yeah. it for later and it ended up, you took the 10 immediately. Yep. Uh, so the, it's not just, ma like there, it is just matching colors and numbers, but there's actually thought that goes into it when you're actually playing the cards because it's it's kind of like, it, there's actually a lot of planning that goes into a tournament yeah. because you have to like, th you have to think ahead and be like, okay, this suit is big. I want, or I can keep more. Car I, if I if I use the cards of this suit now, I usually have more stuff to match later anyway. Or, or I have a lot of these. I need to make sure I get rid of them fast because yeah. yeah. Or or get rid of the ends and keep the middle numbers because they're they're more crossover on the other. Suits. Yeah, you you always have more crossover in the middle between like the numbers 
four through seven ish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you you want to end up usually you'll end up playing a lot of those first because uh, you'll you kind of have to uh, and keep the ends so that you can or you can play the ends like Jimmy was saying you can either play the ends and kind of get the uh, um, keep the middles for later just to kind of have more matching. Right. Well, I like playing the middles so then I can have the ends to really screw the person to my left. She'd be like, I play a one. Oh, you can't match it? Shocker. Um, uh, who has the three? I've oh. got the three of Spike. Yeah. I was also thinking other four stocking stuffers. We'll do four. All the pocket dwarf. box reprints that we just did. Yep. Or pocket, not yeah. just did, but did. Pocket reprints. boxes. Uh, we actually uh, have those on and Amazon as well. Yes. Uh, Warehouse 23 and Amazon have those. Uh, and those big boxes, so we, we ship them in these larger boxes, especially like for the bundles, mm -hmm. but those are just like kind of storage boxes. They're not really, they're there for shipping and stuff. They're not really there to like, um, if you don't want to keep them in that box on a shelf, you can always take them out. So you could bust that box open and use those stock for stocking stuffers for multiple people. Yeah, too. we have a couple of different I played bundles. A yellow flower on that one. Yellow three. But we all also right. have the individual three. pocket boxes for almost all of them. Yep. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's go with uh, Flower 9. Okay. Spike 9? How about Spike 7? How about Spike 11? Hmm. How about a Spike 10? How about Flower 10? Ooh. How I like about the way you think. Ah, how about that big stack of cards? Bad stuff. We're not out of the woods yet. No, we need to make sure Hill gets a lot of them. Wow. Collusion already. <laughs> it's already happening. Um, well, <laughs> just uh, Spike 12. Let's go oh, come spike on. Five. He still had one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm screwed. I, I knew you were paying attention, so I. Flower uh, 7. Flower 7. Let's go with Flower 6. Oh, no. Uh oh. oh. This is rough. Dwarf two. Dwarf three. Oh, three. Boy. Elf six. Elf one. Two. Elf five. Flower five. Okay. Wizard five. Wizard six. Wizard seven. Oh no. Wizard, Wizard four. Cleric one. Cleric one on wizard four? Yeah, it means a ticket. Okay, <laughs> got it, got it. Oh my god, can I get out of this? Can't! That means I get three, Philip gets three. So we both get a defeat card, but that leaves me with three defeat three cards. Defeat card card so I'm the loser, everyone else wins. Uh, how much time we got left, Brandon? How, what, what, we're looking at time wise. So we've been going about 45 I think we have time to play a game of hack, hack and slash real quick. Yeah, play a round yeah, or two. Yeah, we definitely. It's a it's a short one. I do want to. I, I I like showing off hack and slash whenever we can because it's uh, one of my favorite light games that we've kind of come out with recently. So one of the cards will be the starting uh, one that we always put out there. Brag at the tavern. There we go. And we got first player, which you know what, Jimmy, you can be first player. Oh, okay. I usually take first player, but. Uh, and how many do we get each? I believe it's eight or something like that. Um, do, do, do. So if you missed earlier, this is a game about uh, running a group of adventurers and yep. sending your adventurers off to do tasks and everything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we each start with eight of these little red dudes. These are these are meeples. Uh, and these are your adventurers, essentially. Uh, these are the guys that you're going to be sending on the adventures uh, and hoping they don't die. Uh, you will uh, score points by completing the missions on the cards. Uh, so you start with a, check out me deal out, Philip. Uh, but if you go to the side camera, we've got to kind of break down the, the anatomy of the card here. Uh, so up here is how many uh, adventurers go on the, on the quest. Uh, here is the number you're trying to hit. And this is the reward. So the green box up here, it tells me we'd, I would be sending one adventurer to go on this quest. Uh, for every adventure you roll a die, and you're trying to hit that target number. So in this case, it's a four plus. So it's like a 50-50 shot. Uh, the reward is that you'll get a, another adventure from the pool. And if you if you succeed, you get to keep the guy who went on the adventure. So if I send one out here to do the mission and I roll a four plus, I would get that person back and I'd get an additional one from the supply to add to my party. Uh, sometimes you'll have stuff like points here. Most of the time what you're doing is aiming for points. 
Uh, sometimes it'll be points and a person. Uh, now, if I if I send someone out to complete this mission and I don't roll four plus, this guy would be lost. This adventure would be gone. However, I would have the opportunity before they're lost to send another one out and get to re-roll the die. If I hit the target number, I get to keep both of them and complete the mission. If I don't hit the target number, I lose them both. So it's uh, it's like a very much a push your luck kind of situation. So Mitch asks if there's a new version of Hack and Slash because he's been getting add-on cards in his purchases from World Warehouse 23 that are larger than the original game. Uh, no, those are just promo cards for the for the game. So yeah. they're larger, so you know that the promos and not not part of the actual game itself. Yes. Yeah. They're just a little bit. They're yeah. They're just printed a little bit differently. Uh, you can you can also you just choose to use them or not in a particular game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not, not a different version, though. Uh, Philip, how many do we do? Uh, is deal, one plus... out, deal out three cards as a draw pile and place yeah. them in a row near the Brag the Tavern card. Yep. So here are our missions. We've got... Uh, so Brag of the Tavern is always out there. It's pretty much just a four plus, and you get to complete... Uh, you get an additional person. Uh, this one, we've got Defeat the Demon. It's one... Uh, it's only one adventure, and you have to roll a five plus uh, to get... But you get four points for it. We have one that costs three. Here's one just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. This one costs three um, adventurers. You're having to hit an eight on three dice, which an average on three dice is a nine, so that's not too bad, and you get three points for it. Uh, and then you got Plunder the Pirates, which costs two adventurers. You're trying to hit a seven, which is pretty average for four points. Um, so, Jimmy, you're first player. All right. So let's see, we've got Brag at the Tavern, Defeat the Demon, Hold the Bridge, or Plunder the Pirates. Um... Let's see. I think we're going to go... We're going to send two after plundering the pirates. Okay. So it takes, uh, it takes two adventures to go to that. You get to roll two dice and you get a seven plus. Okay. Let's try to roll it over here a little bit to get it on camera. Bam. That's a nine. It. Boom. So, so, and you keep the card in front of you? I get the card because it's worth four victory points on this card here. And then he keeps the adventurers. Adventures come they come back, back to, my, to the tavern, essentially. My, my tavern. Got, well. Slay the Great Dragon. That's a three, dude, for 14. You have to 14. Uh, so, also, you play until someone's out of adventurers. Once someone's out of adventurers, then the game ends. Uh, I believe you get one more round after that there. Yeah. I'll double check. But, Philip, where are you going? You're going to slay I'm the Great gonna Dragon? Go, uh, I'm going to hold that bridge. Three guys. I need an eight plus. Let's see if this works. Uh, yes, it. I got it. So that'll be worth three points at the end. You get your dudes back. Get a new card. Uh, okay, okay. I think... We got Save the Village. I'll I'm actually going to go to try to Save the Village. Just say three. And on three dice, I have to roll a 12 plus. Okay. That's really bad. That is that is a uh, eight. Um, so, yeah. so you send one guy to re-roll one I'm going to try it. Yeah, re-roll one. I'm going to try to re-roll the one. That is a ten. nine ten. I lose all of them. It's bad. They never and the village didn't even get saved. The village did village not, get, not saved. get saved. That's actually the uh, cover art. Yeah, that is. Card. That's this the, is uh, Lar, right? Uh, yes. That's the cover art of the game. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, uh, you know, I think we can probably save the village. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm glad well, everyone else can save the village. Well, hearing that the village is still in dire need of help, we Thanks. will... Uh, Thank you. We tried. We'll, we'll go out, out there, there. and... Roll 12? Oh, of course yeah, you do. Uh, that's a 12, yes. That's 13. Yeah, great. No, it, so we'll... It, yeah, and you get to keep those. It's Jimmy's like, let me show you how it's done. This is how we'll you come back. This one's very small, but visit the Orcish restaurant. Uh, I'm going to go to the Orcish restaurant. I heard they have a, a good... Leave the big ones for me. Don't worry. I've handled them pretty well so far. You got it. Got it was it. a 2 plus. only worth a point, but hey. But you survived, <laughs> you survived the Find the, the missing heirs. It's 2... For an eight plus. Now, I'm gonna go brag at the tavern. I have four plus. <laughs> I'm gonna send another one. I got it. There you go. Okay, so All that right. means I complete it. it. Doesn't go away since it's brag at the tavern, and I get one from the supply. All right. At least we're at five. Okay. Give you you guys um, take some of these. No, I'll... It's Jimmy's turn. It's over. There. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Let's see. We got uh, find the missing heirs, defeat the demon, or slay the great dragon. You know, uh, we will give. We'll send a guy after defeating the demon. Yeah, it feels uh, like a good. Like it's not. A, it's it's thirty three percent chance. You know? Yeah, it's not a good chance, but we'll and, keep taking fast talk his way because this is this is clearly uh, you know we're we're not it's not a big demon or we're trying to talk it down rather than fight it down. Uh, but he does not succeed. Do you go oh, for it. Oh, we'll, interesting. We'll send another guy out. We'll, we'll give it a try. 
Of course you get there it. There we go. So no, that's how a, it always works, guys. A you little just, backup. Just push your luck and you're good. Yeah. Uh, this one is Bushwhack the Bandits. That's a, you're trying uh, you're trying to get a four plus for three points. I'm going to go and try to find these missing heirs. Oh, so you're trying to hit the um, two dice hitting an eight. Yeah. Yep. All that's, right. that's a little above average, but not crazy. Hmm. Oh, no. It's, what, what I meant to say was it's perfect for everyone else but me. Uh, also, the other way to end is when we're out of cards. Yep. Three a ten ups. That's a little bit above average. Find the spike of heaven. We're going to try it. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit above average. But, you know, based on what you guys are rolling, this should go fine for me. It didn't. It didn't go fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to send another I, one out there. I bet, I bet one more guy will help. We got it. There you go. Ah. It's an 11. The rich get rich. Uh, Quaff Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> Quaff Dwarven <laughs> Ale. Uh, Dwar Dwarven Ale, yeah. So it's a six up on two dice, and you get a meeple, you get an adventurer, and one, one point. person. Uh, one, point, yeah. one person, one point. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the drinking contest. So two dice. Two dice. Go. It's not bad. It's pretty easy. Oh, it's uh, great. It's seven. So here's your extra from the supply. Uh, everyone and looks like point. they've got so many cards in front of them. That's crazy how that <laughs> works. Um, I'm going to try to restore the eye I wish of the come up for me. Because y'all don't need extra dudes. I need the people. Uh, uh, that's, that's an eight. Oh, so it's another one. Every roll. That roll that one, one again, please. It's a two. That's exactly Ooh. enough. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. Sorry. You're good. So you get the points, and you get an extra one from there? Come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, yeah, that is one. Okay, sweet. I'm doing that. Oh, that's a harder one. Of course I get the hard Okay, it's fine. Yeah. I need a nine on two two dice. I don't know what Jordan Ale is either, Phil. I got it. So I get these two, and I get an extra. <laughs> Jordan Ale. <laughs> that was Escort. Escort the Princess Through Hell. Oh, there you go. Uh, we've got Ride the Wild Bull of Kyrgyzstan. Sure. Trigger it's by, a six. Trigger by it's one, and you have to get a six. But you get a guy and three meeples for it. You get a guy... No, you get uh, one meeple and three points. Yeah, the other way around, yeah. Jimmy, uh, why don't you go on that one? I am going to uh, bushwhack the bandits. Why don't you ride the bull? Nah. Ride the bull! Nah. Ride the bull by the horns! Bandits so, are more pressing So it's a 50-50 for -50 three points. Not bad. No? Nope. That's yeah, 50-50. Now it's a little less of a 50-50. Uh, we'll, we'll send a guy. We'll send a guy. Got it. There we go. There is no justice. We push back the Out bandits. riddle the Sphinx, and that's for Ooh. one meeple and a point. I'll go for that one. Of course you will. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> oh! Let's try it. Let's try Do it, it again. I like it. I like the I like the bold moves. It's a meeple and a point. And you, yep, you got that. Two guys back. Uh, map the endless cavern. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for that. It's two, and it's a six up. That's a pretty it's good not odds. Bad. Yeah. We got it. There you go. Yeah, that's First fine. I can, I can, I can live with that. Uh, we got destroy the cursed bidet. <laughs> <laughs> two, two guys for it. As you can plus. see, the humor hasn't hasn't grown up with us. <laughs> it's still munchkin humor. Um. So let's see. That needs that needs a pair of fives or better. That one needs. Uh, yeah, these are all. They're tough. Uh, this. Yeah, let's, uh, no, let's, that's they're no, all pretty no. difficult. We're gonna go after the great dragon. You're going for it. I like it. The boldness. I mean, you got the meeples. Might as well use them, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got people. There it is. Oh, uh, oh, 10. That's, that's 11 right now. I need 14. So need we'll, we'll send a guy no, in. No, you need a four on that, huh? We'll send a guy in. It's a 50-50. You got it. That is 14. Oh, my Slain God. Slain the great dragon. We're in trouble, Philip. I know. Arm wrestle a troll. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll do that one. Sure, three up. Actually, no, I'm going to go for the destroy the cursed bidet. I, I don't think I've ever gotten to a point where I wasn't out of meeples. And that, usually I end the game by losing all my meeples. So you're going for a ten on two dice seven. That's bad. You need a six. You want to you wanna risk it? A half to. Force head biscuit? For the bidet. It's for cursed. The, for, you want to risk it for the bidet? Yes, wait, watch uh, out. Uh, fix. Or wait, yeah. I did get it. I rolled the three. Oh, you rolled the three. Yeah, yeah. I needed. Uh, we're gonna go arm wrestling a troll. I think three up. Oh come! No, <laughs> Why did I say this? Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, had to be this way. Puny, I never puny. used your right your right hand at your left hand. I am in trouble. Jimmy is kicking our butt. Yes, that's why I had to go for the curse for day. Go for it. Jimmy. All right, uh, we will. I guess we'll try the curse to bidet. 
It's pretty cursed. Shot. It's, it's pretty, pretty cursed. Nope. Ooh, Ooh, I didn't even get it. Cursed. Uh, yeah, that's... No way we'll, to get it. We'll let those guys go to their fate. Uh, Philip. Uh, <laughs> it took the curse for days to take us all out. I'm huh? going to try it again. Oh, my gosh. It's cursed, man. It's real curse. <laughs> That's real curse. Uh, I'm going to go back to arm wrestle a troll, but I'm going to roll one of these dice. <laughs> we got it. There you go. There we go. Came back uh, after okay. you uh, did some push They're all like on toilets, and I'm just like, uh, I don't know what they're doing over there. But <laughs> It looks more like it's a geyser. But uh... <laughs> uh, Stare down the goblin lords. Two for five? Yeah, we'll Pretty be scared on the goblin lords. There you go. Barely. Ooh, just. Ooh. Just. It was... Okay, we All got blinked. Survive the Great Games, three for a 13 plus. That's. Uh, we got a lot of big ones here. We got the Cursed Bidet. Cursed Bidet is still worth the most points, even at two. That's a tough one. Philip's got a decision to make here. I gotta go for it. I gotta catch up to Jimmy. Jimmy's winning. Eef. You got three guys left? Let's go for it. Okay. Go for broke. Nope. That is broke. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for the curse for day. It's Usually time. I end the game by losing was about all the words needed in that sentence. I'm going to send it. <laughs> oh. oh! I sent it. That bidet is taking out the bidet all is, these adventurers. The, the, the curse. <laughs> the bidet is extremely it's, cursed. It's legend lives on. <laughs> it's literally... Uh, Jimmy's over here with like a jillion meeples. Survive the great games or destroy the cursed bidet or ride the bull cure your bus down. I want to know uh, if the bidet is in the tavern. It looks uh it, it looks like it's, it's, out, a cliff it's face. out back at, at best. Uh, yeah. on the art. You gotta go after you gotta you go great games or destroy, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna go for the great games. Let's see it. Three dice, thirteen. Oh, oh we come got on. it. Maybe a fourteen. And he gets oh, a the rich get, get richer. A meeple and well, the day is going to be the end of us. Steal the rocks eggs with three dice. Uh, I got bad news. I'm I don't have three dice. <laughs> three <laughs> I dice to have to. I'm going to try again. Yeah. Uh, sure. You can practice the soul to see if you run out of meeples before you run out of cards. Yeah, you could you could totally soul with this just to like oh, run what your high score is. Yep. All right, this curse for day. Is it going to be the end of me? Uh, yep. The, the end the of end. you. Uh, we're gonna try the bull. I lose. Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, does it end for everyone? Check. Oh, I've got the rules. Or I have the rules here. Let's see. Yeah, I checked. threw them on the floor somewhere. It fell. Um, yeah, I just fell. threw them on the floor. Uh, so if there's no people start of your turn, you must pass from the first player or take their next turn. Okay, so we all get pretty much another turn. Bull. I'm out. Jimmy. All right. So you get Jimmy gets one more turn, then it's over. So I can steal the rock's egg, destroy the cursed bidet. Jimmy, we'll you're, try you're to already beating us. I think how, you, do you, how much do you want I to be the spy? I think you win. Just go for the big one. Uh, go for the bidet. I, I think we have to try to be the ones to take the bidet out. <laughs> okay. I think I so think, it's one less point, but you might as well. Oh no, six points. Yeah, go for it. Jimmy has the manpower to tackle the bidet. Exactly. True. You can do it. Like it's possible. It's five, so you need a five or a six. You need a five or a six on this to kit, to take out that bidet. So oh, another the one. <laughs> all right. Well, all those so guys. So I got lost to it. thirteen points. Six. I got twelve. How did I beat you? <laughs> That's awesome. Thirty-two. Yeah. Well, I think I think the winner was the winner of that game is pretty ambiguous. I think uh, it was close. It was close. It was, it was, it was, it it was, was anything. It was um. The yeah. It was a day one. It was a day yeah, yeah, the day winner of the. Yeah, actually, the day survives, so no one wins. That's a new rule. Uh, and that was Hackenslash. I love that game. It's so it's so quick, uh, and you can play that plays up to four, I believe. It might go up to, actually. I think it goes up to five. Am I crazy? The bottom edge, other edge, yeah. other it's, edge, it's other not matching. Edge. Two to six. Two to six. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, great, great stocking stuff game. A lot of fun. Yeah. That stuff, Deadly Doodles. As you can see, we played a few of these games. They're all we, I, usually when I think stocking stuff, I'm thinking fairly light. Uh, Sometimes you can get even more out of it, though, like the, with the Fancy Trip, Melee Wizard, you know, Death Test, you get a little pocket more chunk box. out of it, the Pocket Boxes. Uh, lots of, we have a lot of games that pack a lot of punch into the small small containers, you know, so uh, if you get a chance, check out those at your local game stores. Uh, you can check out our store yeah. finder on our website if you want to find a local game store near you. Check out Warehouse 23, where 
shipping now. Again, if you're ordering for the holidays, you want to go ahead and get them now-ish. Yes. Uh, just to prevent any delays. There's been a lot of, well, it won't prevent delays, but just to calculate in the fact that there's probably going to be delays. The Postal Service, even like FedEx, UPS, stuff like that has been uh, very, very spotty. So we need to, you know, want to make sure to get all that stuff in. Uh, so stay tuned tomorrow for, we got our interview for that that uh, Kickstarter start. And I want to make sure, make a note, thank you guys for backing the Car Wars Double Drum playmat that did fund on Indiegogo. And uh, we do still have some pre-orders open. We left some pre left pre-orders open until the 29th right. on Warehouse 23. Uh, so. If you missed it or international... Yeah, international. These are, gonna, these are gonna ship after we fulfill the Indiegogo. Oh um, yeah, this will be yeah. our this will be the extras that we print off to ship out. After that, it's gonna be probably really hard to get. This is not gonna be something we're gonna be printing a, printing a lot oh, over. So there's not room to stock a whole lot of them. Right? No, no, four, four by six players. There's, there's not. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put those. Where we're gonna <laughs> put the ones we have. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, Philip for coming out of the warehouse. I know you guys are busy out there, but uh. Uh, thanks for coming out here again tomorrow's our interview with douglas cole next week no streams happy thanksgiving for that uh, but we will see you guys tomorrow on the shit games live